For some, this is the price of austerity. Thousands clashed with riot police on the streets of Athens in recent weeks. From Greek streets to Nick Clegg's back garden, no riots here yet, but if the Conservatives scrape into power and, as the Lib Dem leader puts it, they slash and burn public services on a thin mandate, a violent backlash is not inconceivable. There is a danger in having any government of whatever composition led by a party which doesn't have a proper mandate across the country trying to push through really difficult decisions. I think a lot of people react badly to that. But rioting in the streets? It's a bit much. Uh, I think there's a very serious risk. <laughs> Holy fucking hell. Are you fucking kidding me? To the eastern suburbs, Hackney, Lewisham and Peckham in the south, and we're hearing tonight it's also spreading to West London. The cops say now, although it started in Tottenham because of the shooting of that man who was allegedly a gang member, they say now it is simply opportunistic and criminal looting. Listen. Of course, all this could be avoided if Mr. Clegg ends up hobnobbing with number 10 in a coalition government and on issues like the economy, insisting that all parties sit down and work things out peacefully. Protesters armed with fireworks attempted to keep the police at bay. The Deputy Prime Minister came to Tottenham this afternoon to listen. The voices he heard were polite, patient, eloquent, but angry. simply ludicrous to suggest that someone smashed a window to steal a Blackberry or to steal the latest pair of Adidas trainers because they didn't like government policy. They don't like government policy, come and protest in Parliament Square. As it happens, what I was warning about last year was about government protests against government. This wasn't protests against government. It was just a nihilistic outburst of acquisitive crime. Of course, we need to now reflect, as we will, on the wider issues. I'm absolutely clear in my own mind that we need to work even harder now to spread opportunity to all of our communities. Because if you have opportunity, if you think you have a stake in society, if you think that you're going to have a fair chance of getting ahead, then of course you'll do the right thing. You'll act responsibly, you'll act with greater discipline. So yes, the, the work that I've been spearheading in, in government on social mobility, I think now takes on an added urgency. Because it's always better to have a society where everyone feels that they've got a fair crack at the whip to get ahead and live out their dreams. I think it's rather silly thing to say, frankly. Everybody knows we have a big budget deficit. Everyone knows we've got to cut out wasteful spending. Most sensible people know the sooner we get on with that, uh, the better.